This is Mike Neheiser, founder of Beacon Rock Research. Uh, joining me is John Mark Stoudy, president and CEO of Riverside Resources, Inc. That is ticker symbol RRI on the Toronto Venture Exchange and RVSDF here in the U.S. John Mark, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Mike. Thanks a lot for having us. You bet. Uh, good to catch up uh, from last quarter. Uh, well, last year was a, a tough year for everybody in mining, but I know Riverside has been active doing what you do. Uh, can you give me a recap for the year? Yeah, Riverside actually is a prospect generator, and in the last quarter we were very active, and over the last year we were able to complete drilling in Mexico, drilling in Canada, and we continue to have $5 million in cash. We have a tight share structure of 37 million shares out and in this last year we were very excited by the drilling results in Durango, Mexico at our Pinolas project. So what what would you say would be the primary highlights or what you would want to make sure that investors took away from your activities in 2013? In 2013 I think three things. First off is we were able to land two new three-year fully funded strategic alliances with major partners. Those are Hot Shield Mining and Antofagasta. The second major thing we had was large intercepts uh, and number of intercepts at our Pinolas project. The third thing we were able to do was to end the year with about the same amount of money that we had in the bank at the beginning of the year. In other words, we've been able to preserve our cash, still preserve our assets, and progress with new discoveries and expand the company in 2013. Although it was a tough year for many companies, for us, in terms of delivery of results, we're very pleased with where we got to. So how would you rate your business plan against other uh, you know, types of business plans in the mining sector? I often say that we're lucky and people keep saying, no, you're following your business plan. The business plan that we have is ideal for the current market cycle. When the markets are high and everyone's making money, it's not the best to be a prospect generator. But when the markets are tough, when we have partners funding on our projects, as we currently do and as we have for the life of our company, it's a perfect fit for the current business environment. So for 2014, what do you see as the, the environment for prospects or partnerships or uh, joint ventures with major operators? Well, it's pretty exciting that we were able to d- develop the new strategic alliances in 2013 because 2014 currently looks like it could be tough. But with it being tough, will we have firm commitments fully funded by major companies and by partners that already have the money in the bank, we're certain to see drilling on at least three projects, potentially five, and maybe even seven projects in 2014. I think overall it'll be a tough year. For us, I think it'll be a pretty good year. Also, we've been able to double our exploration budgets through partners' funding for 2014. So for us, it's looking to be a pretty good year. So what do you think are going to be the the major catalysts that the market might recognize uh, from all your activity in the next year? Three catalysts that we have coming up. One is we'll have three new assets fully funded by major partners within the first six months of the year. That's really great for us to be able to continue to expand the asset base and get partners funding it. A second one is we'll have drill results coming on the next phase on the Pinolas project. Last year, we had the high-grade hits of silver. We'll be expanding that and drilling other targets. That'll be really great. A third thing we will have is new porphyry projects and gold projects with our Hot Shield Alliance in Sonora, Mexico. There, we've already begun to build out open-pit gold targets, and I think in 2014, we'll have more high-grade gold results in a very good part of Mexico, a very solid nice place to work, and we're very excited by the potential in that belt. So I guess we're more than likely to see some regular uh, news flow of material events, and there just may be one or two surprises in there for 2014. Yeah, in 2013, we were able to have a a good series of flow of, of news because we had seven different partnerships going on in projects. In 2014, we now have even more projects with more money going on. So I think we will have a good series of news flow. In fact, we're working on a press release now that will have come out before the upcoming Cambridge House that will outline some of the goal posts that we see coming in our plans for 2014. So I guess I'll be seeing you at the Cambridge House uh, in Vancouver this month. 
Well, we're really excited about going there. You know, Riverside's got $5 million in cash with no debt, a tight share structure. And so for us to go to the Cambridge House to have a booth again, this year we're in booth 1725. We can meet our shareholders, stand up straight and proud and say, you know, we've made it not just survive, but we've prospered. And in this year, 2014, we're very excited to see projects being drilled on projects that we've worked on for a number of years. So we're very excited about the upcoming Cambridge House and 2014 in general. Well, it appears to be very much the case. Well, John Mark, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Wonderful to be included and follow this quarterly update. Once again, this was Mike Neheiser, founder of Beacon Rock Research, and that was John Mark Stoudy, president and CEO of Riverside Resources, Inc. That's ticker symbol RRI on the Toronto Venture Exchange and RVS. DF here in the U.S.